Hello everyone, today I'll be introducing learning-based image scale estimation technique for quantitative visual inspection of civil structures. Built infrastructures such as bridges and roads, as you can see on the left image, provide means of efficient and streamlined transportation routes for its users. The maintenance and regular monitoring are integral to ensuring safe operation of these structures as they face degradation over time due to operational and environmental factors. For example, the top right image shows spalling on concrete pier caps, exposing the rebar to external environmental conditions. And it also shows that severe corrosion has occurred on the rebar. Visual inspection, which are supervised by a trained professional engineer to inspect and collect images of defects on the structure, is the main method by which these damages are identified and tracked throughout the lifespan of the structure. These inspections may involve the use of specialized equipment, such as cranes in the bottom right image, to collect information in hard to reach areas, such as the underside of bridges, where defects such as spalling, as you have seen, may be present. Recent works have been proposed in the area of vision-based visual inspection techniques, which utilize vision-based sensors to perform visual inspection in order to speed up the pace and consistency of visual inspections. And these techniques can be categorized mainly into three different categories, detection, localization, and quantification. Detection involves identifying and or localizing important features such as defects within the image. An example work by Sue shows identification and classification of different types of building concrete damage in an image, such as concrete cracking and rebar exposure. Localization, on the other hand, involves mapping of the image or its detective features onto a higher context, as can be seen in Hoskier's work involving mapping of defects detected using images collected by unmanned aerial vehicles to a 3D model of a building. However, these processes often lack the ability to physically quantify features in the image due to the lack of an image scale, which can be defined as a pixel per length, such as millimeters or centimeters, to convert pixel-based measurements to physical measurement. Currently, three commonly known methods of quantification are marker-based measurements, stereo camera, and app-based measurements. Marker-based measurements involve including markers of a known size in the scene to quantify features such as cracks. However, this method is highly manual. Serial cameras involve the use of two or more visual sensors. This technique requires calibration and also specialized or custom setup, which can take additional time and resources to set up. Third is app-based measurements. This is an augmented reality-based method that requires calibration on each startup using an accelerometer, gyroscope, and image data. Currently, user testing has shown that results may vary based on distance and from environments, which heavily depend on the calibration process. The work today seeks to expand on the list of possible quantification methods, which can be applied to existing detection and localization algorithms to enable streamlined end-to-end -end inspection processes. The main contribution of this work is the learning-based image scale estimation technique. This technique utilizes texture patches of the structure to infer an image scale, a pixel per length metric, which can then be used to quantify features in an image. Advantages of this technique is that once a scale estimator model is built, we'll see what that is later, it can be added to existing feature detection processes to enable an end-to-end -end inspection algorithm. It also requires only using a single camera, no other specialized equipment, and it can be applied to previously collected images that have no known scale. The technique operates under the assumption that images are taken directly parallel to the scene, which would allow the image to have a single corresponding scale value. The underlying motivation for this approach can be inferred from these two images. These images are texture surfaces of the same structure taken at different distances. So from these images, can you tell which image is closer? Of course, it's the right image. And in terms of image scale, the pixel per length metric, images taken further away have a lower pixel per length metric, as you can see, 50 pixels per centimeter in the case of the left image, whereas closer images have a higher pixel per length metric, 250 pixels per centimeter in the right image. Given that we have a trained image scale estimator, 
The process can be used as follows. Step 1. We collect images of the target region. Step 2. We run feature detection algorithms or manually highlight the region of interest. And in this step, we can also quantify the feature in terms of the maximum width, length, and area. Step 3. We extract patches of the surface texture around the region of interest. Step 4. We feed in the patches into the scale estimator to get estimations of scale given the texture patches and aggregate the estimations into one single scale that we can use in step 5 to quantify the pixel based measurements into physical measurements. The image scale estimator is a convolutional neural network that is trained on labeled data. The labeled data can be generated as follows. In step 1, we take pictures of scenes of the surface texture with the marker of a known size included in the scene. Data is collected of the surface structure at varying distances and at different locations of the structure. Afterwards, in step two, the marker is detected automatically using an automatic marker detection algorithm and the image scale is calculated accordingly. Afterwards, multiple patches of the surface texture are randomly extracted for one image to form a patch set. After we have run the algorithm and have extracted patches and determined the image scale for all the images, we use them to train the CNN. For this work, two main experiments were carried out. First, the comparison of accuracy on different test structures. Second, comparison of accuracy on the model trained in one operating condition and tested under different operating condition, where zoom we vary the focal length of the camera during collection of the data set. And in diff, we use a different camera to collect uh, the data set. Data sets for experiment two were collected from the pedestrian bridge structure. On average, a data set contains 20 scenes, 259 images, and 10,662 patches. Up to 50 patches was extracted for each image for the training set where the number of patches extracted was varied using an oversampling method to balance distribution of scales in the scale range. And we extracted a fixed 50 patches per image for the testing data set. An overview of the number of scenes that was taken, the number of images and the number of patches, and the training testing split can be seen in this table. Here are some results on the model trained on the pedestrian bridge data set. In the left, you can see an actual to predicted scatter plot showing on the x axis the actual scale and y axis the predicted scale. Each dot represents an estimated scale for a single patch. You can see that there are vertical spreads which show multiple patch predictions for a single image where multiple patches was extracted. The red dashed line denotes a perfect prediction by the estimator. The inner band denotes estimations that fall within 10% error, and the outer band denotes estimations that fall within 20% error. Now, these scales have been aggregated per image to produce the scale on the right, where we aggregate the multiple patch predictions for one image into one image scale to reduce the overall error, achieving higher accuracies. For detailed results, Please consult the paper that is related to this work, which is linked in the GitHub repository shown at the end of this presentation. Overall, this research proposes a learning-based image scale estimation technique to infer a scale directly from texture. Once an image scale is estimated, it can be used to physically quantify region of interest in the image. For the implementation of the algorithm, a CNN-based scale estimator was trained to predict the scale for a given patch. A MAPE loss function was used to ensure no bias was introduced due to the magnitude of scales. And an automatic marker instruction algorithm was used. The technique was demonstrated against three different structures and under two different operating conditions and achieved less than 20% mean error for all the cases. The work can be accessed via a GitHub repository as well as the data repository, which contain instructions on how to train the image scale estimator. 
Thank you for listening to this presentation. Hope you have a nice day.